Community Business Development Corporations, Business Financing Support and Advice. CBDC Business Startup Course, Lesson 14, Bottom Line Growth. Strategies to increase your bottom line. The bottom line is a company's net income or a profit loss figure on a company's income statement. More specifically, the bottom line is a company's income after all expenses have been deducted from revenues. These expenses include interest charges paid on loans, general and administrative costs, and income taxes. A company's bottom line can also be referred to as net earnings or net profits. Successful small business owners are always thinking about how to increase their earnings. When times are tough, every little bit of extra cash helps. And when times are going well, a healthy bottom line can enable you to build up for an emergency or to even expand your business. Here are some strategies to consider if you would like to improve your bottom line. Adjusting your pricing. If your sales aren't where they should be, evaluate your pricing and determine if it's fair, not only to your customers, but also to you. If sales are good, but earnings are not, it might be time for an increase. Look at what your competitors are charging and consider an increase that will help your profit, but not drive customers away. Consider the increase in the cost of living. If you are paying more for your supplies, you need to adjust your price for inflation. You may also be able to adjust the portion size, for example, if you are a restaurant operator. Comparing your expenses. Comparing your expenses in percentages versus other businesses in the same sector provides you with information on where you have room for improvement. For example, your revenues are $75,000, your salary expenses are at 32%, and the industry standard is at 25% average. The 7% difference equals $5,250, meaning you can increase your profit by $5,250. To attain that 7% difference, you will need to look at adjusting work schedules or possibly redefining work tasks to become more efficient. There is a link to the Government of Canada's industry standards in the PDF for this lesson. Are you operating in a lean environment? What is lean? Simply put, lean means creating more value for customers with fewer resources. A lean organization understands customer value and focuses its key processes to continuously improve it. The ultimate goal is to provide a perfect value to the customer through a perfect process that has zero waste. If lean is customer first, what is the value in the eyes of the customer? What features and services does the customer want? When do they want them and what price are they willing to pay? You need this information to be able to review your processes from ordering supplies, managing inventory, manufacturing products, delivering services, selling retail products to delivering products to customers while managing internal administrative processes needed to meet customer needs. Lean principles apply to manufacturing, service, and retail sectors. A popular misconception is that lean is suited only to manufacturing. Not true. Lean applies to every business and every process. It is not a tactic or a cost reduction program, but a way of thinking and acting for an entire organization. Lean means creating processes that eliminate or reduces inefficiencies and waste. For the manufacturing sector, a manufacturer wants to increase the size of his manufacturing facility to add more storage space and new equipment to meet customer needs. This will require major investment and put pressure on the company's working capital. Through a lean program, processes from ordering supplies, keeping inventories, manufacturing the product to delivering the product to the customer will be looked at and improved. Possible outcomes are that the company may not need an expansion, could reduce the amount of space needed to store only the inventory it needed, eliminate clutter and waste material on the manufacturing floor and realign workflow. By doing this, the company should see a reduction in waste, productivity increases and bottom line increases and might not need an expansion. For the service sector, 
Companies in this sector are under constant pressure to deliver exceptional customer service. Whether a healthcare provider, IT company, marketing service, they still have wasteful processes that could be improved or reduced. Examples of these processes include the movement of files, information or documents, queues of orders to be processed, delays caused by missing information, unnecessary approval routes for documents, and not getting things right the first time. For the retail sector, companies in this sector must keep just the right amount of merchandise on the floor while having the right amount of inventory to meet customers' needs. Inventory control and ordering processes are very important for this sector. Evaluate and understand customer buying cycles and trends. Review demand management and order management systems to improve the efficiencies within the company. Finally, merchandise layout will not only improve the customer shopping experience, but could also help manage inventory. Undertaking a lean initiative will require the participation of all staff and will normally increase staff satisfaction and involvement. Becoming more efficient may mean adding on new technologies, new innovations, or automation. Reducing interest payments and unnecessary expenses. If you've been in business for a while and have established good credit, you may be able to qualify for a loan or business credit card at a lower rate. Talk to your banker about your existing loans and see if they can refinance or consolidate. Pay off credit cards by the due date. Compound interest or interest on interest can extend your payment period over a long period of time, costing you a lot more money. Build a relationship with your suppliers that allows you to net 15 days or 30 days on inventory purchases. Unnecessary expenses can often lead to disappointing profits. These can come in many forms, such as expensive office space, ineffective advertising, frivolous small purchases, inventory that is not moving, etc. Schedule some time to closely examine where you're spending your money and then look for places to cut back. It is very expensive to keep inventory on hand that is not turning over. In conclusion, Lesson 14 of the CPDC Business Startup course has covered the topic of bottom line growth and touched on the subjects of reducing your expenses, operating in a lean environment, and lowering interest payments. The next lesson in this part of the course is Lesson 15, Growth Best Practices.